Hey guys, Plev here for another Gunner Heat PC video, and today I'll be familiarizing you with the wonderful T-80B. During this video, I may repeat myself, and you may see different angles of different skins of the same thing. In 1985, the premier Soviet armored fighting vehicle was the T-80B, the flagship of the Red Army, featuring a modern fire control system, amazing firepower, and fantastic armor. This vehicle is able to contend with the American Abrams. The T-80 is an evolution of the T-64 platform. An interesting choice of design was taken by fitting the vehicle with a gas turbine. The T-80 has a max road speed of about 70 kilometers per hour. It also features a max off-road speed of roughly 50 kilometers per hour. The tank features a max reverse speed of about 11 kilometers per hour. The T-80B's armor comprises of steel front and back plates sandwiching a glass textilite inner layer. Certain variants may or may not have a pleak armor added on, um, and most configurations are able to withstand high explosive anti-tank rounds and even glancing APFSDS rounds, and in some cases, can directly take a sable round. The turret is cast steel with a composite armor inlay, which also provides significant protection. The 1A33 fire control system offers a laser rangefinder, delta D compensation, super elevation, automatic lead but only horizontally, twin axis stabilization to keep the sight centered, pancratic slash continuous zoom, a meteorological sensor, camp correction, and a backup manual mode. However, the breach of the gun is a weak spot. The T-80B pairs the 1A33 fire control system with the 1G42 sight. This is paired with a 125mm smooth bore gun. Ammunition is stored in the autoloader in the center of the tank below the turret. This is significantly less likely to come off than the T-72. The tank features the latest Soviet ammunition, including AP, FS, DS, Heat, and HE. AP, FS, DS can be selected with the number one key. HEAT, or Heat, can be selected with the number two key. The three key will select your high explosive rounds. You can reload with R after you fire. The laser range finder does not work with the night sight, however. And as I'll remind you later, you should dump any range manually before switching to the night sight. Firing Sabo rounds, the tank can actually be effective out to about two to three kilometers. With high explosive or heat rounds, it can even get out to about four kilometers of effective range. You can also select 9M112M Cobra anti-tank guided missiles with the four key. At 1920 to 4,000 meters, the missile will launch in elevated or lofted mode. The missile will launch at an elevated angle with a brief control lockout, and once the lockout ends, guidance will begin. The flight path will be 3 to 5 meters above the gunner's aim line of sight until a short distance remains to the target. Between 1,000 to 1919 meters, it will use normal mode. The missile will launch at an elevated angle with a brief control lockout, uh, once the lockout ends, guidance begins, and the missile will immediately descend into the line of sight for the remainder of the flight. For 0 to 999 meters, it will use direct or emergency mode, where it is launched without elevation and a shortened control lockout. Take a look at the uh, image overlaid on your screen to get a deeper understanding of what the different icons and symbology within your sight mean. To acquire laser range, simply place the reticle over your target and press E. You'll receive the distance in meters at the bottom of your screen. You can then simply left click to fire your target. Now let's take a shot with the gun launch anti-tank guided missile. Let's try that again on this target a little farther out. That's almost two kilometers right now. Let's take a shot in two seconds. Manually adjust the range with page up and page down or with left control using the scroll wheel. The top of your screen shows information for manual range. Before using the coaxial machine gun or the heavy machine gun, you should ensure that you dumped any range manually from your gun. Let's try engaging some moving targets. By tracking our target, 
and lasing while holding our weapon at its rate of traverse, we can fire and lead will automatically be calculated for the target. Let's do the same with the target at longer range. While we reload, we can try zooming in with the mouse wheel. We'll go ahead and laze this target. Oh, he's slowing down. We'll laze him again and fire. That's a hit. For use while moving, the tank also features a Delta D system. The Delta D system will automatically add or subtract range as you advance towards or retreat away from your target. You can press G to fire your smoke launchers. It may take some time for the rounds to come down. Let's see. The tank features the advanced TPN-3-49 night sight, capable of operating in both passive mode under reasonable moonlight or alongside a Luna infrared spotlight. Before engaging your night sight, make sure you've zeroed out your range. Press T to engage the passive infrared night sight. Press N to engage your Luna Spotlight. It should be noted the Luna Spotlight will make you a much easier to find target at night for other night vision equipped vehicles. The left scale is for armor piercing saber rounds and the right scale is for the machine gun. All right guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if this has helped you out. Clev, out.